Hi, Statesman Nation. Welcome to another edition of Office Hours. Uh, today we are joined by Susan Boxler and Aaron Hina of the Distance Learning uh, Division. Uh, Susan, Aaron, appreciate you coming on for a few minutes. Um, uh, with both of you guys here, obviously a lot to talk about. So we're going to get right into it. If you guys can talk about, you know, what type of classes uh, you teach, um, kind of your background, also, you know, where you graduated, what you've taught in the past, and then so there's a lot of pieces here. And then finally, um, you know, why you wanted to become a college professor? Why do you want to go into higher education? Absolutely. Thanks, Wade, for having us. We are so excited to be here and to promote the distance learning program. This is an awesome program and I'm really fortunate to be a part of it and to work with Aaron to help our distance learning students. So I'm Susan Boxler. I'm the director of the distance learning program and I also get the joy of teaching several of our classes. I normally teach Ed 100, which is our first class, as well as Contemporary Leadership, which is one of the last classes that you take. And then it's just always a surprise as to what else I get to teach. Something to do with elementary or general ed classes. It just depends on what's needed for that semester. Sure. I got my bachelor's degree from Ball State University in Indiana, and then my master's is from Olivet Nazarene. So I've been teaching everything from kindergarten through seventh grade, a um, little bit of preschool even thrown in there for good measure. So lots of different things over the years. We've lived in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Arizona, Iowa, and now we're back in Indiana. And yes, I still work for William Penn, thank goodness, go Statesman. But the luxury of this job is I can still work for William Penn from Indiana with all the program that we're doing here. Um, and since all of our students in the distance learning program are from across the state of Iowa, it doesn't make any difference to any of us because this is how we communicate all the time. Uh, the joy of being a professor, especially at William Penn, would be number one, the phenomenal students I work with each and every day. We have the best students. I'm confident we have the best students. And that's one of the reasons I love being a professor, just to go ahead and continue to be able to help this next generation of teachers that in turn are helping the next generation of students. Sure. Go ahead, uh, Aaron. Alrighty, um, I'm Aaron Hina, and I am the academic advisor for the distance learning education program here at William Penn. Um, I also teach a handful of classes, both on campus and for distance learning. For distance learning, I teach our Ed for Success class, um, and I also teach theory of coaching because I am an assistant football coach here at William Penn as well. And then um, both with that, and I mentioned that as a fact kind of because um, I do a lot of recruiting for football, but that helps supplement with the distance learning program because I'm in schools a lot. Sure. Um, and, you know, so, I mean, if, if there's a superintendent or principal watching somewhere in the state of Iowa and they want somebody to come see them, look me up on the William Penn website and I'd be happy to come down to the school and visit with you about our program. So, um, but uh, I graduated from Iowa State University and, um, and then came here to William Penn not long after. Um, got my master's from here at William Penn and I'm working on my second now. Um, so, and I just love being here and working with this program. Um, you guys have a, a special department here, a division that you both deal with, um, you know, regular students that are starting their careers, um, or starting their, uh, you know, education, uh, degree, but also those, uh, teachers that are working on continuing education, continuing to, you know, uh, you know, adding whatever you know, hours they might need or you know trying to transition into a different role uh, possibly um, in their education career so uh, let's talk about how a degree within your division um, you know is, is beneficial you know why is it why is it a good thing to get so I mean the the big reason I see um, you know, and what makes our program special is that they can do it from home of an evening. We have so many of our students who have families, um, work a full-time job, whether it's as a paraeducator, um, and that's wanting to get their teaching license or, um, a current licensed teacher 
that is wanting to either come back and add an endorsement. Um, we have uh, reading endorsements uh, for elementary and for secondary. We have special ed endorsements for the same uh, ESL endorsement. Um, we have a physical education. Now as a major for distance learning, they can get it for um, elementary and secondary as well. And so just a wide range of things that they can do. They can get their coaching endorsement. Um, just a lot of things that we can help teachers with. And they also get a reduced rate if they're a licensed teacher. They okay. can get a reduced rate compared to anybody else um, to come back and take classes with us. So we see a lot of endorsement students coming back. So again, if there's any teachers sitting at home with everything that's going on in the world watching this, feel free, look us up, give us a call, and we're happy to help you add that extra endorsement and make yourself more marketable. Or if perhaps you're trying to get to a different area of emphasis that, that you think you might like better for your career path, um, right. you're definitely going to want to reach out to us. And I'm also going to add on to that one as far as for our students or our potential students that may be a paraeducator right now, currently, or that you're just thinking about becoming a teacher, so you don't have a degree yet, this program is also for you because we offer a paraeducator scholarship. The, but this scholarship, as long as you complete your FAFSA by June 30th, you will pay mo no more than $5,000 per academic year for your schooling. Right. That's huge. Yeah. This is a true, uh, and this is your bachelor's degree. By the time you finish, you should be, after you pass all the correct tests and everything, you will be licensed to be either an elementary teacher or a PE health teacher. So the opportunities are endless. The real exciting part here is that we've just expanded this scholarship to also other full-time folks that work in the school districts that are employed by the school districts. Mm -hmm. So if you may be a cook right now in the school district or a bus driver or a secretary, all of those positions that are extremely valuable and needed in a school district, but you also now are eligible for this $5,000 a year scholarship, which would lead you then to an entire teaching career. So we're sure. pretty excited about that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, let's talk about uh, within the division, uh, you guys both um, off camera talking about recent success stories, graduates that um, have you know, gone on to uh, bigger and better things. So let's, let's talk about, you know, again, why this uh, you know, degree is uh, so awesome and you know, some people that have uh, really succeeded through it. This is where we could probably talk a long time because right. we are so proud of our students. Um, and I'm going to talk generally just because there's so many, it would be hard to name individual students. I'm sure. thinking of one this past fall, one of our students, she literally was in labor and would not leave class because she wanted to make sure she got all the information. And I kept encouraging her to go ahead, go to the hospital. Talk about dedication. Right. Wow. Uh, newborn back in class the next week because she's so excited about being in this program. We've got several people, mothers and fathers that are working parents, that they're raising children, and especially right now with this whole uh, virus, we, they're not only just raising their children, they're going to school full time for a bachelor's degree. And they're truly just absolutely amazing the way they are juggling everything that's going on in life right now, taking care of their children, helping parents, um, and, and they're doing it. They are turning in phenomenal work. And that's one of the beauties of our program is that you can be a working parent and you can have children, families, all these other obligations and still be successful in our program. Right. It's hard work. We're not saying it's not. I mean, this is a bachelor's degree you're earning, but it's possible because we're here to support you. We want to see you succeed. And we have success stories every single day. We've got students that are graduating. They already have jobs um, as they're get, as they're student teaching. They're walking out and they're saying, yep, I'm, I'm ready to go. I've got a job already. So we're super excited about our students that we have. Definitely. And, and like, like Susan said, you know, we could talk for days on the success stories that we've had because our, the, the, the common individual in our program is the uncommon individual. I mean, you know, people might yeah. think like, well, this program's not for me because I got this going on. I got this going on. 
that's everybody in our program. Mm -hmm. The majority of the people in our program have kids, have a job, have two jobs. Um, so they're trying to balance all these things. And, and again, sometimes as students approach us about the program, we see some apprehension, but I always reassure them, you know, we, we have so many people, I mean, a success story I think about it is a, a young lady who actually just got a job here in, in Oskaloosa um, teaching at the elementary. And she had three kids, um, was working a job at another place outside of, outside of school. And um, she would tell me stories that, you know, she would be cooking during class. And I, and I don't say this, we don't recommend that during class. But right. the reason that, that was a lot, she was such a, a responsible individual that, you know, she stayed on top of things and her professors knew, okay, she's paying attention. She's staying on top of it, that she'd be cooking during class. I mean, you know, and the only reason I mentioned that, and again, it, you know, that's a, that it's doesn't that always happen. But um, the reason I mentioned that is, our professors are, are so kind, so caring, and we understand that our students have families. They have all these other things going on, and we're happy to work with you to be able to allow you to achieve the goals that you want to get to one day. Um, another individual I think of, um, he, he had a, a big family, a lot of kids. Um, the, the, his one kid had some health, major health issues, and, and he was just a rock star. I mean, he would be sitting in the hospital doing work next to his kid, you know, and, and everything's fine now. So, I mean, they've you know, worked through it, but um, just our students are phenomenal. I had a student in my class this semester who um, he just had his um, first son was born that night in the hospital. He was in class and I had told him too. I said, you don't have to come to class. I said, I understand, but he persisted and was like, I'm going to be there. And so we just, and that's just our, our students right now. Uh, and yeah. me and Susan talk about it all the time. Uh, they just do a phenomenal job. I mean, it seems like the majority of the time our students are getting A's. And I mean, I'm not going to say these classes are handouts or anything. They're far from that. But they just do, they're, the people that we usually get are individuals that have these goals set for themselves. And they're determined to achieve them. And they do a great job. Right. Um, let's talk about some advice that you'd give to uh, incoming students, both on how they can prepare for their collegiate experience, as well as, you know, what can they do to be successful as, as students? Um, obviously, one of the big things is going to be time management. Um, you know, it's going to be difficult, you know, doing everything online. It's going to be all on you, but um, I'll let you guys talk about all that. Yeah, yeah, I'll field this one, uh, Wade. Um, you know, what I think of it, you know, and I kind of think both from the DL students and with me doing some stuff on campus, kind of the same thing. And, and I tell, you know, both the DL students, I, I tell my football players that come this as well, that and it kind of sounds silly, but you just have to have made up in your mind that this is important to me yeah. and I'm going to make this happen. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I can't do it for you. Susan can't do it for you. You if you're coming into this, you have to know that, you know, I'm going to put in the work, um, you know, and that's, it's not to say that it's some Herculean task to, to, to get through these classes. If you, you know, you do your work, you come to class, you pay attention, you communicate that I'd say that's the, one of the biggest things for me is communication um, to do well in our program. And I mean, here at William Penn in general, if you're communicating to your professors, you know, I have this going on ahead of time. Uh, I had this come up, they're going to work with you. Like I said, we want to see our students succeed. So we're going to understand, okay, this came up. I totally get it. Thank you for communicating, but you can't just not go to class and then say, Oh, this came up. Okay. Sorry. You know, you need to let me know ahead of time. Yeah. So that's a big thing. And then using the resources that you have utilizing me as your advisor, utilizing Susan, which make, she makes herself very available to the students. Um, if something's going on, if you're struggling in a class, if, you know, you have something going on in life right now, call me, um, email me, you know, and, and the thing I think my students like is, you know, I give them all my information. And I think sometimes Susan says I'm crazy for that, but um, <laughs> we, we care about our students. So, I mean, I'll give them my cell number. I'll say, here's my cell. Call me, text me, email me, call my office. Because if they're having an issue, I want to be there for them to, yeah. to help them work through those issues, whatever it may be. 
We have tutors that are available for them, even though, you know, they might think I'm online, you know, that's not going to work that we have tutors that will meet with them through zoom um, sure. video conferencing software. And I mean, they can be in Sioux city, Iowa, and they can have a tutor from here in Oskaloosa. Um, and they can do it of an evening at a time that works for them. Um, so a lot of things available to help them succeed. I'm, I'm in a total agreement with the, with Aaron on this. It's the determination. If you want this, and we talk a lot about this with our students. If this is your goal and you want this, and you are willing to put in the effort, it's not easy. We never sugarcoat it. We never say, hey, this is gonna be so easy, because it's not. Yeah. But by gosh, we're very passionate about this field, um, and we're very passionate that our students are capable and they can do it. We only have outstanding students. I'm confident on that, because we only bring outstanding students into our program, because we love them all. And but we, we, we wanna make sure we're there for you. I answer emails all day long, all night, Okay, so almost all night, some nights it feels like it, and on the weekends. And that we're not kidding. When we say communicate with us, we will do our best to figure out a solution. Do you have to do the work? Yes. Do you have to figure out some time management? Absolutely. But we are here for you. We are going to help you figure out solutions because some of the times, Aaron and I can put our heads together and it's amazing what we've come up with as far as creative ideas because we want to see you succeed. We want right. to see you fulfill your dreams. So we're, we obviously are pretty passionate about this, but we, we love our students. We think we've got the best students ever. There you go. Um, one final thing from you guys. Why do you love William Penn? I'll start this one. Uh, this is, I'm just finishing my 11th year at William Penn. Um, if I didn't still love it, I wouldn't be trying to work from Indiana and still be here. I miss everybody when I can't be on campus, but I'm so fortunate that I get to see all my distance learning students all the time. I get to still communicate with them. Again, we have, it's the students. We have the best students ever. They're, we could not have any better students. And especially now, we've just got a really amazing group. We always have, we always will. I would also say we've got a fantastic team of on-campus professors we work with in the education division. And then we have the best adjuncts and don't any other universities try and take them from us because we have <laughs> the best adjuncts ever at William Penn. And our adjuncts have that passion that we have and they want to see our students succeed. So I think if you're looking for a university, this is it. This is the place. We care about you. We want to see you succeed. We're going to push you at times, but by gosh, this is the best. It is the best. We're, we're, I'm happy to be here. You know, and Susan stole my answer, but I'll kind of add to that. Um, I'd have to say for me that it would probably be my boss, which is Susan. Um, she, she's awesome. I, and I, I tell people that all the time, I, you know, if you find a good person to work for, you're gonna, you're gonna love your job. There's, let's just put it this way. There's two women who sell numbers I have memorized, Susan's and my wife's, of course. Um, so, but, uh, you know, practice what you preach. I mean, I talk about the importance of communication. It's like me and Susan, she's in Indiana. I'm here in Iowa. It's like, we talk about every day, um, and exchange emails daily. So, um, by doing that, we're able to take care of our students at a very efficient rate. Um, and, but like I said, Susan took my answer with, it, it's the people. It's the people that we have here at William Penn. It's the instructors, the professors in the education department. I mean, you know, I think of like uh, with our department head here in the education department, we, our professors that we have, I could easily say every single one of them I could see being our department head. They have those abilities to just be exceptional, to go above and beyond. They care a tremendous amount of, about our students. I mean, and we have professors and instructors from all different places and backgrounds. I mean, um, one who just came from uh, working in elementary school, we have form, uh, two former superintendents, I believe, uh, at one point that are working for us. Um, and, and I could go on and on. I, just so many talented individuals. And I mean, I, I love being able to talk on like recruiting visits with, if I'm talking to a football player or this or that, and they're interested in education, I love it because I can say, you need to come here because we are hands down the best education program. Like, you know, I want you to come because you're an awesome football player, but you want to do education, 
you need to be at William Penn. I mean, I, I can't name all the coaches I know and superintendents that are currently working all over the state that have, they went to Penn. They played football at Penn. Now they're a coach and a superintendent and a principal at wherever. It's just amazing all the connections and all the people that have come through this program and just being able to see how it continues to grow. Definitely. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I learned a lot because I didn't know as much about the distance learning program. So um, once again, Susan Boxler and Aaron Hino out of the distance learning uh, program here at William Penn. Both of you have a tremendous day. Uh, Susan, especially you in Indiana. I know uh, Iowa is a little chilly today, but that's still a nice May day. So uh, everybody have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Wade.